let us now discuss the most important concept from time and work that is nothing but measurement of work with the help of this concept we can solve almost all the questions from time and work let us understand what is it all about measurement of work remember friends work can always be measured in terms of men into days for example the work done can be taken as number of men doing the work into the number of days for which they work or similarly we can see that the work can be taken as number of men into number of hours for which they work that is nothing but work in general can always be taken as men into the time for which they work for example let us assume that 12 men can finish a piece of work in 4 days so here the work which is done has not been specified but we can measure the given work as number of men into number of days so 12 men they work for 4 days so here the work done will be 48 men days so the work can be taken as 48 men days now suppose let us assume that 6 men have to finish the work so how many days will be required we know that the total work done is 48 men days so 48 men days should be equal to 6 men are going to work so how many days will be required so we should try to balance the amount of work on both the sides so 6 into 8 is equal to 48 so we can say that when 6 men do the work 8 days will be required to finish it similarly let us assume that 4 men work so how many days will be required now we know that 48 is nothing but 4 into 12 so when 4 men work 12 days are required likewise when two men work the number of days required will be equal to what so we can say that for two men 24 days will be required why because 48 is 2 into 24 so this is how we can use the concept of work in terms of men into days let us now take an example based on the concept that we have just discussed that is nothing but measurement of work in terms of men into days now the question here is a work is started by 15 people after five days five more people accompanied them to finish the work in next 10 days how many people should have started the work to finish it in 11 days so as you can see here initially there were only 15 people doing the work but after five days five more people joined them to finish the work in next 10 days so very clearly for the first five days there were only 15 people working on that and after five days five more people have joined that means 15 people were already there and 5 more have joined so now there are total 20 people working on it after 5 days and they could finish the work in the next 10 days so we are supposed to find out how many people should have initially started the work so that they can finish it in 11 days altogether so let us see how can we use the concept of men into days to solve this question now the only thing which you need to do here is balance the total work on both the sides in terms of men into days for example the work was started by 15 people and we know that they have worked for 5 days there were no changes for the first 5 days so we can say that the work done in the first 5 days will be 15 men into 5 15 people into 5 after 5 days 5 more people accompanied them to finish the work in next 10 days so after finishing this much of work that is 15 into 5 men days the remaining work was finished by 15 plus 5 people in the next 10 days so this is the total work which has been finished let us understand this once again for the first 5 days there were only 15 people working so the amount of work which they have finished is 15 people into 5 or 15 men into 5 days so this is the total work finished in the first 5 days after 5 days 5 more people have joined them so total men which are available are 15 plus 5 so 20 men and they could finish the remaining work in 10 days so 20 men in 10 days and after these 10 days the total work has been finished so this is nothing but the total work which was done by these people now the question is how many people should have started the work to finish it in 11 days so the same work has to be finished so this can be balanced as let us assume the number of people which are required to finish the work in 11 days is P. So P persons in 11 days as these persons together finish the total work in 11 days. So by simplifying this we can get the answer for this question. So 15 into 5 is 75 plus 15 plus 5 20 into 10 is 200 should be equal to P into 11. So from this P will be equal to 
75 plus 200 is 275 divided by 11 will give the answer as 25 so we can say that 25 people are required to finish the work in 11 days if you want to justify this you can simply check the answer by balancing the units on both the sides 15 into 5 is 75 20 into 10 is 200 so total work which was finished was 275 man days and here 25 people in 11 days 25 into 11 is also 275 so 275 man days of the work has been finished by 25 people into 11 days let us now take up another example from time and work which can also be solved based on the concept of work in terms of many to days. The question here is 24 men can complete a work in 16 days. The same work can be completed by 8 women in 72 days whereas 24 children take 32 days to complete it. If 10 men, 15 women and 24 children work together in how many days can the work be completed? So as given in the question, 24 men can complete the work in 16 days. So we can say that the total work will be equal to 24 men into 16 days as the work can always be measured in terms of men into days or persons into days. So 24 men into 16 days. Then the next statement here is the same work can be completed by 8 women in 72 days. That means the same work, the total amount of work here is 8 women into 72 days. So this will be equal to 8 women and they can finish it in 72 days. Whereas 24 children take 32 days to complete it. So that means again the same work can be finished by 24 children in 32 days. So this can be equated to 24 children into 32 days. And the question is, if 10 men, 15 women and 24 children work together, in how many days can the work be completed? So we need to find out the number of days required when 10 men and 15 women and 24 children work together. Let us assume that the number of days required by this group altogether will be D days. So these many persons into the number of days, D, will be the total work. So again, this can be equated to the total work in all the previous cases. So as you can see here, we have formed different equations from the given question. That is nothing but the total work is 24 men into 16 days or it can be taken as 8 women into 72 days or 24 children into 32 days. And we need to find out the number of days required when 10 men, 15 women and 24 children work together. Now to solve this question, what we need to do here is in this group, we have to convert the women and children in terms of men or the men and children in terms of women or men and women in terms of children. That is nothing but we will try to completely convert this group into only one type of person that is either men or women or children so that the solution can be obtained in a simple manner. And for that to do we should first get the relationship between the different types of persons. Let us convert this group only in terms of men. So from this we can say that 24 men into 16 days is equal to 8 women into 72 days. So 24 men into 16 should be equal to 8 women into 72. Let us try to simplify this. We can say that 24 into 1 and 24 into 3 gets cancelled here and 8 into 1 and 8 into 2 is 16. So we can say that one man will be equal to 3 women by 2. Or from this we can say one woman equals to two men by three or two thirds of a man. So this is nothing but the capacity of one woman is two thirds of the capacity of a man. So this is the conversion of women in terms of men. Let us now try to convert the children in terms of men. We know that 24 men into 16 is equal to 24 children into 32. So we can say that 24 men into 16 days is the total work that is again equal to 24 children into 32 days. So from this 24 and 24 gets cancelled and 16 here goes two times. So we can say that one child will be equal to 1 by 2 men or the capacity of one child is half of the capacity of a man. Let us now substitute these relationships in the given group. So we find that 10 men are men as it is. 15 women can be taken as 15 into, we know that one woman is equal to two thirds of a man. So 2 by 3 into man plus 24 children. We know that one child's capacity is half of a man's capacity. So 24 children can be taken as simply 24 into one child is 1 by 2 men. 
so this is the total group only in terms of men and this should be multiplied with the number of days that is nothing but total work now we can equate this part with the number of men into number of days that is nothing but 24 men into 16 days so as you can see here on both the sides we have got the groups only in terms of men by simplifying this we get 3 into 1 3 into 5 and this is 2 1s and 2 12s so 10 men plus 5 into 2 again with 10 men plus 12 men into the number of days it should be equal to 24 men into 16 so 10 plus 10 is 20 20 plus 12 is 32 so 32 men into the number of days d should be equal to 24 men into 16 so 16 goes 32 times we can say that the number of days required will be 24 by 2 which is equal to 12 so the answer for this question will be 12 days so as you can see here the simple way to solve this question is first to equate the total work in terms of men into days women into days and children into days then we can find out the relationship between different types of persons and then the given group is converted either only in terms of men or women or children and then the total work again can be equated with a similar type of person on the other side and we can find out the number of days required let us now discuss the third example from model 3 which can also be solved with the help of men into days concept let us look at the question first 12 men and 18 women can complete a work in 6 days whereas 12 women can complete the work in 18 days 4 days after they started the work 4 men left how many days will the remaining people take to complete the remaining work so as given in the question 12 men and 18 women together can finish a work in 6 days so going by the concept of work in terms of men in 2 days we can say that 12 men plus 18 women we are taking plus because they are working together so these persons into the number of days 6 should be equal to the total work and 12 women can finish it in 18 days so this can be equated to 12 women into 18 days but because this is the total work done with men and women together and here we have only women finishing it in 18 days so total work on left hand side and the total work on the right hand side now the question says four days after they started the work four men left so very clearly for the first four days 12 men and 18 women were doing the work but after four days four men have left so when four men leave there are only eight men remaining so these 8 men and 18 women will finish the work in how many days is the question there to solve this question we first need to establish the relationship between men and women from the given equation 6 into 1 and 6 into 3 is 18 so we can say 12 men plus 18 women is 12 women into 3 that is 36 women so when you take it to the other side we get 12 men are equal to 36 minus 18 18 women or we can say 2 men is equal to 3 women since this is 6 into 2 and 6 into 3 so therefore very clearly the work done by 2 men will be equal to the work done by 3 women now from this we can find out the number of men in terms of women or the number of women in terms of men for example we can say that one man is 3 by 2 times one woman that is nothing but the work done by one man is equal to 3 by 2 times the work done by a woman in the given time now let us try to frame the equation for the work done in the given case initially we know that 12 men and 18 women were doing the work for the first four days and after four days four men have left so very clearly for the first four days there were 12 men and 18 women so the work done by them can be taken as 12 men plus 18 women into 4 since work is nothing but number of persons into number of days and the remaining work was done after 4 men have left so after 4 men leave the job there are only 8 men left out because 12 minus 4 is 8 so 8 men plus women as it is 18 women will do the remaining work in how many days let us assume the number of days required is t so we are supposed to find out the value of t here now to solve this question as I've already mentioned we first need to convert the complete thing only in terms of man or only in terms of woman so let's try to take this only in terms of women now we know that one man equals to 3 by 2 times a woman so let's use this in this equation so we get 12 into 
थ्री बाई टू टाइम्स वुमेन प्लस एटीन वुमेन इन टू फोर डेज प्लस अगेन एट मैन कैन बी टेकन एस एट इन टू थ्री बाई टू वुमेन प्लस एटीन वुमेन इन टू द नंबर ऑफ डेज रिक्वायर्ड इज टू बी कैलकुलेटेड बाई सिंप्लीफाइंग दिस वी गेट सिक्स इंटू थ्री एटीन प्लस एटीन थर्टी सिक्स वुमेन इंटू फोर प्लस दिस इज फोर इंटू थ्री ट्वेल्व प्लस एटीन थर्टी वुमेन इंटू द नंबर ऑफ डेज डी so this is the total work which has been finished only in terms of women and we need to find out the number of days required by d we also know that 12 women can complete the work in 18 days so this total work can be equated as 12 women into 18 days now if you can see here the whole equation is only in terms of women so we can simplify this to find out the number of days d So if we take six common, we get six into six is thirty-six. Six into five is thirty, and six into two is twelve. So very clearly, six into four, twenty-four plus five d should be equal to two into eighteen, thirty-six. So from this, d will be equal to thirty-six minus twenty-four. That is twelve divided by five. So we can say that the remaining work can be finished by the remaining people in 12 by 5 days, which is nothing but 2.4 days. So this is how we can use the concept of work in terms of persons into days to solve these type of questions. Remember, friends, whenever we have a combination of different type of persons, like men and women working together or men, women and children working together, it is always better that we convert the complete work only in terms of men or women or children. and then balance the work on both the sides to find out the number of days required let us now discuss the fourth example from model 3 the question here is a father can finish a work in 8 days after working for 3 days his son joined him and the remaining work got finished in next one day if son works alone how many days will be required to finish the work so as given here father alone can finish it in 8 days after working for 3 days his son joined him and the remaining work got finished in next one day so for the first 3 days only the father was doing the work and after that the son joins and the remaining work got finished in just one day so we need to find out if the son works alone how many days will be required now as discussed we can always go for many into days concept for these type of questions where a person joins the group in the middle or he leaves after some time now here the two types of persons that we have are a father and a son so we can say that the total work is nothing but father into 8 days that is number of men into number of days understand when we say f here f is nothing but the capacity of the father or the efficiency of the father so f into 8 is the total work that is nothing but the number of persons into number of days so only one person whose capacity is f into 8 days now after working for 3 days his son joins him so very clearly for the first 3 days only the father was working so let's try to equate this work with the actual work done there so for the first 3 days only the father was working so the work done will be f into 3 and after that the son joins the father and both of them together finish it in just one day so the remaining work got finished by father and son together only in one day so by equating these two we can establish the relationship between father and son so that is nothing but the capacity of father and the capacity of son so let us try to simplify this very clearly 8f is equal to 3f plus f plus s right so from this by taking this 3f plus f 4f on the other side we get 8f minus 4f that is 4f will be equal to s so we can understand that 4 times the father is equal to son that is son's capacity is 4 times the father's capacity understand this is a capacity equation and here we are supposed to find out the number of days required if the son works alone So here son's capacity is 4 times the father's capacity. In the beginning of the session we have discussed that capacity and number of days are reciprocal to each other. So if son's capacity is 4 times the father's capacity, number of days required by son should be 1/4 of the number of days required by father. So we can say that number of days for son should be equal to 1/4 of number of days taken by father. number of days taken by father and very clearly the father can finish the work in 8 days 
so we can take this as 8 so number of days required by son will be 1 fourth into 8 that is 2 days so if the father can finish the work alone in 8 days son alone will do, be able to do it in just 2 days so whenever we need to find out the number of days required by any one of these persons we first need to convert this capacity equation in terms of number of days equation and that can be done with the help of simple concept that number of days and capacity are reciprocal of each other so very clearly if son's efficiency or capacity is four times father's efficiency or capacity the number of days required by son should be one fourth of the number of days required by father so one fourth of eight is two that's how we get the answer here let us now look at another example from time and work based on the concept of men into days the question is five men and six boys finish a piece of work in four days four men and three boys can do it in six days in how many days three men and six boys will be able to finish the same work so as discussed in the previous examples again we simply need to balance the work in terms of men into days or persons into days so here five men and six boys can finish in four days so we can say that the total work done is five men plus six boys into four days this should be equal to four men and three boys can do it in six days so we can say that 4m plus 3 boys into 6 and the question is in how many days 3 men and 6 boys will be able to finish the same work so we need to find out the number of days required when 3 men and 6 boys will do the work now from this equation let us first establish the relationship between the number of men and the number of boys so 5 into 4 is 20 men plus 24 boys should be equal to 6 fours, 24 men plus 18 boys now by simplifying this we can say that 4 men will be equal to 6 boys now with the help of this relationship let us try to convert the given group only in terms of men or only in terms of boys we know that 6 boys are equal to 4 men so let us try to just substitute this in the given group so 3 men plus 6 boys can be taken as 3 men plus 6 boys is equal to 4 men so this is 4 men so now the question can be read as follows instead of saying that 3 men and 6 boys will finish the work in how many days we can simply say 7 men will do the work in how many days so let us see how to get the answer here again the same relationship can be used in any of these equations and that can be balanced with this one to get the number of days required so we know that 6 boys are 4 men now the first statement says 5 men and 6 boys finish in 4 days so let us now use this equation in the first part here so 5 men plus 6 boys can be taken as 4 men so total 9 men can do it in 4 days and we need to find out 7 men will do in how many days let us assume the number of days required is d so 9 men into 4 days will be equal to 7 men into d so very clearly from this we can see that number of days required by 3 men and 6 boys together should be equal to 9 into 4 by 7 that is 36 by 7 days so that's how in all these examples that we have discussed from model 3 we can always go for the concept of measurement of work in terms of number of persons into number of days and always balance the total work to get the required answer